Welcome back to Shaving Down Under. I'm Doug, and it's a Monday, and we're going to revisit a soap I haven't used for a while, and that's um, MA Space Soaps, and it's, it's called The Ice Planet. Yep, you can just read that writing down the bottom. Love that image. Makes you think about deep, dark outer space. And inside, from memory, it's blue. So this one had a bit of menthol in it when it was originally made. He accidentally tipped his elbow. Someone hit his elbow and tipped a bit more in, so it had a bit more zing, which was pretty cool, actually. And um, nice hot day. And what a better way to start with menthol. Go with the slim. And we've loaded it up with a Lord Extra. Let's get into it. Okay, so that's how it comes up after I've just washed out the the lather to let it dry. And that's how it's come up in the bowl. Nice, very light sky blue colour. Here we go. So I'm using Darwin shaving brush. And that's a badger. Let's get the shave on. What have I got this on? Six, let's take it up to seven. Remember people, always open up before you change gears. Let's hope you all had a good weekend. Feel the, the menthol starting to tingle. It's a funny sensation. So MA Space Soaps, they're in America, I can't remember the state now, and they usually sell on Etsy, I'm not sure if they've got their own site, but I'll definitely put links in. I found them through Sinatra Lennon. I wonder if it's starting to make my eyes tingle a bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. So Sinatra Lennon, he was using their soaps on his channel and that inspired me to, to buy them. I really like the, the whole space theme. And I just really like the general vibe of the, of the uh, company. Just a small one-man band sort of thing. So I've had a few. I've sold two of them. But I kept this one because it was just so special. If you remember, I, I bought his um, vegan soap, which was magnificent.
you know, tobacco scented. It was one of the most authentic tobacco scents that I've come across in a soap so far. Right, and I gave one to my to my missus. So she uses it for shaving her underarms. I don't know if he's got the same menthol kick in it with these later versions or not, but if it has, really worth buying. The first time it happens to you, it's like, it's just a crazy sensation. That's the one go to my partner. It's a cow in space. There it is there. She's obviously smashed it. But it's got a, a strawberry scent or something like that. It's a sweet scent in there anyway. It's good stuff. Read some bad news last night on uh, Facebook where a friend of mine who I've known since well, I've known him since primary school, but we sort of became mates out after we finished up at school. And uh, he's he's got three kids, uh, two lads and a and a daughter. And the, the middle kid, the, the lad, unfortunately passed away on Saturday. Uh, not even sure if he was 18 yet or if he, or he was only barely 18. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but... Lad had some, uh, tr some troubles. I'm not really sure the cause of death, but I, just reading between the lines of what I was online, it looked like um, life just overcame him. Which is a damn shame. Yeah, it, uh, it, sh it shocked me, people, shocked me. I, I didn't know the lad personally, but, you know, his dad would always drop into the shop and have a chat and let me know what was happening in his life. Yeah, it's just a pity, you know, just we're shaving enthusiasts and there's just a photo of his face, just beautiful young man and 
you know, just looking at his face and the fact that he, he's probably hardly ever shaved. And uh, he, he's never had the chance to, you know, experience the pleasure of the shaving that we do with all the myriads of fantastic soaps, and beautiful razors, and it's a uh, damn shame, damn shame. You know, teenage years can be hard, yakka for a lot of kids and uh, especially for a lot of lads. And I know there was uh, some drug issues there as well. And And that couldn't have helped the situation. And I know his dad tried real hard to um, to integrate himself with his lad and to support him and, and obviously his mum as, as well. But um, I know he tried hard. He just must be smashed. The whole family must be smashed. So something that happens with a lot of families and yeah, and it's the first family that I've known where this has happened, so. So this soap is just wonderful. It's just, it's hard to believe there's some bloke in his garage. I think his son helps him occasionally. Cooks this stuff up. It's amazing. It's as good as any soap on the market. So this week I'll find out more about the shop. I know the landlord, the landlords are having a meeting today with their lawyers because they've got some loose ends they've got to fix up. And they'll also be getting their lease agreement written up. And once the buyer gets that agreement, he'll be uh, sending me a some sort of uh, sales contract for my shop. I don't know, know where I stand, people. Get the feeling it'll be the end of the month.
I'm selling everything I can. <laughs> Got my partner's pot plants in the shop. I tried to green the place up. So she wants them back, which is understandable. There we go. We go down here. Oh, good. I'll wash up and dry up and yeah, and we'll finish up the the video. Well, another great shave. The old space soap, MA space soap. I'll show you once more. There it is. Ice Planet. And it leaves a really fresh feeling on your face afterwards. Like when I was just, so wash off with uh, warm to hot water and then I finish off just splashing my face with cold water, just tighten up the pores a little bit. And just the, the, the cool water just brought out this freshness on your tingle on your face. So it's magic feeling, magic. Once again, the slim. If there's one razor from Gillette that's always slid under the radar, that is this. I actually think Gillette got it right with the slim in every way. And then they brought the Black Beauty out and they just opened up the the um, blade gap a little bit more, made it a little bit more aggressive razor. And this is still a great razor, but yeah, the slim, they just got it right. Better than the fat boy. In my opinion. Can't say enough good stuff about the Lord Extra Blades. Buy them, try them out, see what you think. For me, beautiful soap. Ah, uh, beautiful soap, beautiful blade. Just saw the little bit of soap there on my shoulder. As I was saying that, and yeah, we'll just go with this usual suspect. Um, here we go. Oh. Thistle and black pepper. What a great finish. 
Oh, people. Hope you have a good week. I know Bradley's out and about gallivanting around off grid. Brighton had a nice little win the other night in uh, qualifying for the or one of the rounds for the FA Cup against West Brom. And so we advance to the next round. So let's see how far the Seagulls can go in the FA Cup. Hopefully a bit further than the Carabao Cup. Okay, people. Wednesday's unboxing. As I've mentioned, Friday I'm doing a, a collab uh, video with Mark from Friendship Shaving. I'll have a chat with him through the week just exactly how we're putting it together. I know the basic idea to it. And um, he's going with an Australian themed shave and I'm going with a British theme shave. So I already know what soaps in the, in my head that I'm gonna be using, which razor, and it should be a bit of fun. Should be interesting. Okay, people, enjoy your week and I'll chat to you soon. Ciao for now.